In this English vocabulary lesson, you will learn a fairly new expression in English, friend shoring. Okay, listen to this headline that was published two weeks ago. Yellen says the U.S. and its allies should use friendshoring to give supply chains a boost. Now, there's three words to highlight here. Allies, friendshoring, and boost. Well, let's start with allies. Allies are states that cooperate with each other for some kind of purpose. In Spanish, aliados. But take care with the pronunciation in English allies, not allies, okay? And of course, in the singular, ally. We've seen this word in previous lessons, boost. Boost is some kind of assistance. It is a help. And it's often used as a verb, to boost, to assist, to help. So now that you understand the context of the headline, what does friendshoring mean? Well, Friendshoring is when you prioritize your supply chain network with your allies or other friendly countries. Maybe in the past you've heard a few other related expressions. Onshoring. Well, onshoring refers to transferring supply chains back home. And then there's another word, nearshoring. Well, nearshoring refers to transferring supply chains closer to home. So, friendshoring is different, isn't it? Again, friendshoring is strengthening a country's supply chain connections with a network of allies and other friendly countries. They don't have to be close, they just have to be friends. And of course, the ultimate goal of this strategy is to make supply chains more resilient in the face of shocks. Okay, that's all for this lesson. I hope you learned something new. Remember, allies are entities that come together for a shared purpose. And of course, a boost is a help. And to boost means to help. Friendshoring. Well, friendshoring means to prioritize your friends and your allies when you develop and strengthen your supply chains. Now, if you think that these lessons help boost your ability to speak English, why not consider subscribing so you never miss out on a lesson? Also, check the webpage, EnglishForEconomists.com. You'll see all of the previous lessons. If supply chains are your thing, specifically check out lesson number 26, where we talked about supply chains. And if you think that private English lessons would boost your ability to communicate in English, you can also contact me through the web page. Okay, I will find a way to help you learn. Consider me your ally in your efforts to improve your English communication skills. All right, that's all for now. I will be back soon with another English lesson for people working in the areas of economics and finance. Don't forget to subscribe and see you soon. Bye-bye.